Hey, hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how going low carb, being low carb is actually impacting your hormones. Now this is not a very popular opinion. I know every time I do one of these videos, I get a ton of people commenting that this isn't accurate or that's not how it is or I had great results, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine, right? There are very specific cases for women, so I'm gonna say this right up front as a disclaimer. If for some reason you pop in in the middle of this video and start commenting whatever, go back and listen to the beginning, right? <laughs> this is for very specific women. There is a small percentage of the female population that it's more necessary for them to have a restrictive diet of some kind. That is not the majority, right? That is not the majority. The majority of women actually benefit from having a regular amount of carbohydrate in their diet and having an overall nutrition um, collective based uh, you know protocol right with complete nutrients complete nutrients which is proteins fats and carbs proteins fats and carbs when you eat so the craze is is all this keto stuff and everything else that is not why the keto diet was designed this is a restrictive diet so I'm going to speak to general female physiology. <laughs> I'm always even hesitant to even talk about this on social media because so many people who talk about it, they don't know, they don't have a degree, they don't specialize in female hormones or how the, our women's bodies work. So when people talk about doing fasted cardio, oh, this study came out, fasted cardio, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that study was done on men. Read it, look at it, I do. That's what I do with my day. I look at studies and other stuff and I'm like, uh, yo, that was done on men. So no, not helpful for women to do fasted cardio. Please stop. Please stop telling women to do this or that's how they're gonna get results. If you're doing something restrictive for a short period of time as in preparation for a, like, a bikini show, fine. But long term, not the right solution for women. And you're damaging your endocrine system. You're, you're causing more harm than good overall just because you're trying to get rid of five pounds. Right, And for those women that really have a baseline of hormonal issues and they're trying to get rid of more than just five pounds, it's gonna have a bigger negative impact on their system. So realize when I talk about this, this is a generalization and it really is for the majority of the female population. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's do this. Let's dive in. Low carb and doing this, why this happens for women first it's because our bodies are designed to store fat. That's how it is. I, I, I Sometimes when I say this, I get people messaging me and they're like, how do you know that? I'm like, Google it, Google it. Our, like literally our physical frame is set up, our connective tissue is set up to store more fat. Women have cellulite, men don't. Our bodies store fat to create humans. Our body fat is generally supposed to be higher than the male frame, than men's body fats, right? because that's what our body is healthy at. If our body fat goes too low, we lose our period. That's an unhealthy thing for a female to have, right? So our bodies are designed to store fat. That doesn't mean that it stores fat all the time. It just means that if you're following something or really trying to improve your health, that if you're following things that are restrictive or your body perceives as um, restrictive, your system will go into a protective mode. What that means is when you cut out carbs, when you really limit yourself, and this is true of low calorie too, this isn't just for carbs alone. I'm not just picking on carbs because I wanna pick, pick on carbs. I'm picking on carbs because carbs are belong in the group of any restrictive diet. This is restricting fats. This is restricting calories. This is restricting of any kind. If you restrict any main nutrient group or nutrients in general, the female body will perceive that at a certain point in time, will perceive that as I am in danger. I am not getting the nutrients I need and it will kick into fat storage mode. How does it do that? It does that by increasing the cortisol. You're at increased cortisol risk then. This is, this is female physiology. This is how our systems work. So most of the things that you're reading out there or saying things about keto or your body can be in keto all day or all these other things, it's like actually the female body 
doesn't do that. And it's not good for the female body to do that. And it's not good to try and force your system to do that. Again, unless you're prepping for like a competition or something that's a short period of time, you're doing that for two weeks or four weeks or something, and then you get out of that phase. That's a totally different thing. People who try and think that I live in this keto phase all the time. No, 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 no. Not good for the female body at all. That goes against how our systems function and when you try and fight how your normal physiology works it doesn't like it <laughs> it's essentially the that's where you're going to get that increased cortisol that's why that happens so keep that in mind when you are really trying something right so if you're doing a keto you get your body into ketosis for a short period of time i teach women how to do intermittent fasting for the female body because it's different than for the male body, but for the female body, do intermittent fasting, and that puts your body into a state of ketosis for a specific period of time, but you come out of it. You don't sit there all day, you don't sit there day after day after day or all week or expect that that's a normal thing for your system. So keep that in mind when you're looking at trying new things or adding things into your you know, routine. What are you doing? for your system, what are you doing for the female body? Is it helpful, is it not? That's really, really, really important to decipher because if it's not, it's gonna increase your cortisol. It's just boilerplate physiology, can't change it. You know, you can move to the beach and live on coconuts all day, <laughs> I don't care. It's gonna cause an increase in cortisol, the stress hormone, which in the female body, boom, we get an increase in that cortisol, Holy cow, our, our systems kick into fat storage. Whew. Okay, other fun things that happen. Fun things, and this increases your estrogen too. It's gonna increase your estrogen, your estrogen is more likely to rise, you're gonna have this imbalance of estrogen, progesterone. Um, all these things can lead to then thyroid dysfunction. Having a thyroid issue, what's your, what is in control of your metabolism most of the time, thyroid? So you're going to have a down regulation of your metabolism, right? Cortisol stores fat, estrogen, you know, some people are thinking, oh, well, that, that can be good, right? Ooh. In an estrogen dominant society already, it's going to mess up your cycle, mess up your hormones. You're going to have worse PMS, right? I work with women all the time who've done something like keto and they feel like, oh, it went well for two weeks, three weeks. I felt like, oh, this is great. Okay, here we go. And I lost a bunch of weight really quickly. That should be a warning sign first off. If you're losing a ton of weight really, really quickly, the female body will see that as a danger. Weight loss for women must be slow and methodical. It must be regulated. If not, again, your system sees it as a danger, kicks up cortisol, and it protects by storing everything it can. Yay. Yeah, that's where you get that up and down rebound weight, all that stuff. So women who start and do something with like, really low or no carb, do that two, three weeks, maybe, oh, this is great, okay, yay, and then all of a sudden you hit a wall, you hit a point where you're like, I can't, I feel like garbage, oh my, oh, I'm losing all this energy, oh, I just don't feel good, I feel like I'm going crazy, what is it? It's not you, it's just that you've been doing something that's depleting your system, and it's hard on your brain function. Your brain needs these carbs to function. Your brain is also in control and at the top of the system for hormone regulation. Yeah, really important. The male body, totally different. Male body, it can be restricted in carb and boom, boosts their metabolism. They get super chiseled, all that stuff. The female body, no, nope. It's gonna really like deplete your system suck the energy from you, you get this brain fog, you feel like, <laughs> some one gal described it, I felt like a pile of hot garbage. I was like, I know, I know, yeah. And then you have to restart your system after that. It's a lot of work and it really sucks. It really, really sucks. <sighs> so essentially, when you do something and you're following something for, you know, and it's a plan that works really well for men and you're trying to force the female body and the female physiology to go through the same thing and to get the same result is, really unreasonable to expect that of yourself. So if you're feeling like, oh, what's wrong with me? Why can't I X, Y, or Z get this result? It's not you. You're just following something that's meant for men, not for women. So keep that in mind. In the 12 week challenge, 
there are a, when I whenever I run my challenge. So I'll put a comment in the wait um, in the I'll put a link in the comments below for the wait list, and you guys can ask questions if you need help if you you know are struggling with something like this. Um, but there's always at least you know. 25 30 percent of the women that do my challenge are, are they do it because they did a keto they did a low carb for too long it messed up their hormones and they're trying to get it back so it's a whole thing that we have to go through so I really tailor and tweak the program for them because we have to reintroduce carbs teach your system how to how to burn carbs again because your body enzymatically loses that ability when you take it out it means that if you take out carbs and then all of a sudden you add them back in, have a cheat day. I took out carbs for two months and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I felt like crap, but I'm gonna just eat them again. Your body doesn't have the enzymes anymore to break it down. Those are important. And if you don't have the enzymes, it can cause a whole bunch of gut disruption and everything. Again, leading into the problem even more. And gut issues are a whole other thing with women with hormone issues. So I'll put a link in the comments below so you guys can get on the wait list. Um, you know, there's a lot more resources there. I give you a really a big sneak peek behind what I do, how I help women, especially when they have been struggling with something like this. I also have more info about eating for your hormones in your cycle, how to do carb cycling and stuff. That's all in my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. A lot of really hands-on tools in here that you can get started with. If you are in menopause, I have a book for you. Um, the Female Menopause Solution, also on Amazon, also gives you, you know, key things that you can start right away to work with with your body. Um, I've talked about this on my podcast, The Female Health Solution. So if you haven't listened to any of those episodes, just subscribe so you get notified when I, I get. I interview experts. Um, I've interview I interview people that talk about stuff too, and you'll be surprised once you start diving into this at how many other experts female hormone experts recommend the same thing for women, meaning eat carbs, they're good for you. Um, and then I have my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is just Dr. Beth Westy. If you subscribe to that, you'll get notified whenever I do videos. Uh, and, and that's where I archive everything. If you're looking for something, if you're like, hey, you mentioned this this one time, because I talk about a lot of things. If you're like, wait, how do, I, how do I eat for estrogen? How can I help if I did this and I know my estrogen's messed up? I guarantee I've done a video on it. If I haven't, message me, I will. <laughs> but I have a ton of archive stuff there and I, my mission here is to educate you so you can get the most information that's gonna be helpful for your body, your system, and go forward from there. All right, that's what I got for you guys today. Please let me know if you need anything else. Please send this video to somebody who is struggling because they did something like this and they're like, I don't understand, why didn't it work for me? I don't understand. I feel like garbage. Is it just me? It's not just you. I promise it's not just you. This is really specific for women. Again, it's not 100% of women, but it is the majority and it will cause more negative impact than positive in the long term. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys later. All right. Bye.